Right, okay. I've had a few questions um, about like issues that with, with Quake not working. I mean, one of the first things you might want to do is just reinstall Quake into Steam um, if you've already got it on Steam. That'll make your life a lot easier um, if, you, if you've if you got it on Steam. But um, if you have and you buy and install it, just as it says here, so verify the integrity. I mean, I just delete it and re reinstall it. The file's so small. Um, you unzip Quake uh dash rt dot zip to an empty folder that is the one you get from from here from zoltim's github which i'll give you the link for that again um and then you just run this vk quake here and what that will do is it'll find your quake steam folder and it'll do all the bits that you need to do if it isn't working um that's when you can try and copy files over now there's two versions that you can get you can get the original release which you wouldn't have got it in 1996 on steam but it's the version that you've got um if you've got that through steam um and then the re-release the 2021 that's the one i've got um so i would be following this if it wasn't working that came out in 2021 i literally cannot believe that, that was that long ago it feels like a few months ago um okay so the first thing with the original release what you need to do is to go to your um your extracted files from this website so from your quake ray traced zip file um you're going to make a folder called id1 and then from your quake folder now if this is on steam great you could take them from steam if you're not sure how to do that on steam you go to your game icon um on your library uh, or your title right click and then off the top of my head it's properties and local files um but that's what you're looking for local files or you can root through your c drive to to try and do that uh, whatever works but basically you're going to need to take two files from that folder you're going to need to take the id1 pack zero pack the id1 pack one pack and the id1 music folder so you're going to then copy those and stick them into this id1 folder and it will look like this basically uh, you'll have all of your resources in there um these are found so you can see here it says quake re-release these are found here well they're the tracks i don't know what's doing there um and there's our pack zero pack okay so that's where you would find it if you were looking for it now i've got the re-release so this only slight difference is it's still a folder called id1 um it's when it says next to vk quake it means within the same directory so it means in here and then you just copy the files over but on this one it's only pack zero pack because that's all that you get on that one so that that that's all you need to do um i don't mean to get rid of those I still want those up and then what you also need to do with this is copy re-release slash quake ex dot kpf next to quake vk and you can see this one here so you just drag and drop that into there um or just copy it as they suggest that should work that will work even if you haven't bought it from steam um i don't know how many versions of quake i've managed to accrue over the years but um it's probably countable on one hand so hopefully that will that will help i've not done any of this installing the dls 2.0 the game is just too lightweight to run it's just I, I can't see the point of doing it but if you need to then you download these files and then you put them into the folder of vk quake and then you can replace it and, and install those in uh, there's a few known issues menu shows amd fsr 2.0 this doesn't make any difference um and then these specular reprojection i didn't notice this when i made my first video but um this ridiculous ghosting is what you can see on the floor where you see like the shiny tiles and it's just got crazy ghosting but that'll possibly get updated i mean there's not been anything in the last 26 days with this but hopefully that helps massively um if it doesn't i mean just stick things into the comments on this one and i'll i'll try and answer them uh, as i can but it, it's that kind of classic uh what's the what's the phrase for it? it's like the it I, the it crowd isn't it really if it isn't working don't turn it on and off again just like re -delete, just delete it and reinstall the whole thing and it gives you a nice clean start but as i say have a look through um a bit of troubleshooting you can do is to have a look in your folders and just check that you've got things that should be um in place um they're there but if not then you fire fire a message in the comments and i'll see if that helps but if this if this helps any of you out uh, that's great because the game's wicked with this and i'm kind of making my way through um 
some playthroughs of this now and i'll bang some videos up um of me playing through for those of you who um are struggling to run it find it difficult to run like i have no idea i don't have a particularly powerful graphics card anymore i've got a 270 so it seems to handle ray tracing no issues but i'm still on the fence of whether or not i'm getting one of the uh the 40 season series uh, but anyway hope that helps